Hello, welcome to Sculpt with Sid. My name is Sydney. I am a bar Pilates and yoga instructor from Toronto. And today we're gonna to do a full body map Pilates class. I've taught this in person and it was a fan fave, so I hope you love it as well. We're gonna work the full body standing a lot. We're gonna sweat a lot. I want you to use this ball, two weights and a booty band, and we'll get started. We'll do a warm up standing today. Come to the very top of your mat. So if you're on a yoga mat, face the short edge. You're gonna take a big breath and reach up. Breath out, look down. Two more like that, inhale up. Down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Stand tall. Bring your hands to heart center and just send your hips back into a squat. Stand tall. Push your palms back. Good. Keep going like that. Whatever pace you want. My favorite way to warm up if you've done a lot of my classes. We normally start with squats. You can kind of make them your own, however, based on how you're feeling. And then slowly your body wakes up, warms up. So really think about pushing into your heels here, sticking your bum back. And as you do that, connecting to your core ribs, pull in. Yes, really good. We have four, three, two. Last one, hold at the top, pause. Shift your weight over towards your right foot. You're gonna march your left knee. Step back out, find your squat. Switch sides, right knee. Keep going like that. A little bit slower so you can really focus on your balance. Good, one more each side. The next time your left knee marches, we're gonna pause. Find your balance. You're gonna step this foot all the way behind you. Find a lunge, arm sweep to the ceiling. Good, stand tall, march again. Back to your squat, hands to heart. Switch sides, right knee lifts. Step back lunge, arms overhead, march, and squat. All right, you get the pattern. Keep moving at your own pace. Really trying to find control and stability in your body here in this format. That is what Matt Pilates is all about. If you need to stay grounded into the mat, you don't have to march. You can just tap the toes down. All right, the next time you come into your lunge with your left foot back, I want you to pause. Step back, hold, straighten the back leg, drop the right arm, nice big side bend over to the right. Good, big breath in, back through center. Just switch sides, left foot forward, right foot back. Same thing, left arm drops this time, side bend to the left, big breath in and out. Back through center, find your plank, hands come down, Left foot steps back, hold your high plank or your supported plank. You can also come onto your elbows. Just hold wherever you are, stay there. I'm just gonna talk to you, talk you through it. I want you to inhale, push your palms down and then your toes or your shins, whatever's touching the mat. Everything else lifts away from the ground. So really try to find this like long lifted quality in your plank because it's really easy to feel heavy here but push the floor away. Find that connection to your core. Imagine your rib cage is hugging your spine. Belly button lifts. Keep holding. This is your last five, four, three, two, and one. Hips up and back. Ooh, good work. Cuddle out the heels. That was our quick warm up. I want you to check in with your energy here. How you feeling today? All right, let's walk the feet in and then sit the bum down. Come all the way to your seat. You're gonna grab your ball. With your ball, you're gonna reach it out in front of you and squeeze the palms into it. If you don't have it, no problem. Just mimic my arms without the prop. Inhale to sit up really tall. Axel, can you lean back slightly? Just a little angle until you feel your core turn on to hold up the weight of your upper body. That's a good place to pause. Take a breath in. On your breath out, arms reach overhead. Inhale forward. Exhale overhead. Keep moving like this. I am literally already starting to shake. If you're not and you're like, this is easy, Sid, I want you to grab your weights, hold them in your hands and do this instead. But I promise it builds. If your hip flexors start to bug you, if right here is getting really grippy, maybe straighten the legs. Or you could literally sit up tall with cross legs, work on a tall spine without leaning. If you're feeling good and you've got the ball, squeeze it in between your palms. Feel your chest, your shoulders start to light up too. 
All right, last option here. If you want, float the feet. Give three more. And then we'll turn this into a little twist. Two. And one. So good. Quick forward fold. Let your knees fall. Let your head fall. Take a breath in. Take out any tension. And then come on back up. All right, you're gonna keep the ball. Place your feet back out in front of you. We're just gonna add on some twists and some marches. So find that half lean back position. Squeeze the ball. You're gonna pull it in towards your right hip as you march your right knee. Rotate the chest, the shoulders. Come back through center. Tap that foot down and then switch. Good. Keep going like that. Again, you could definitely do this with weights in your hands. If you have the ball, squeeze it in between your palms. Yes. Something that likes to happen here is our spine gets really crunchy. Can you imagine someone has one strand of your hair, they're pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Just sit up a little bit taller. Keep going. Really focusing on that rotation through the spine. So you're not just pulling the ball to your hip, you're twisting your entire torso. Yes, good. This is your last three. Two. And one, hold through center, reach the ball forward, lean further back for four, three, two. Quick fold again. Good work. Roll yourself on up. Grab the ball just in your left hand. You're gonna come down onto your right elbow. So you're kind of leaning back and off to the side a little bit. Right leg is going to extend. And then reach your left arm overhead. Take a breath in here. On your breath out, left hand and right toes meet in the center. And then they reach away. Keep moving just on this side. Yes, good. If it feels awkward to be up on your elbow or it bothers your shoulder, lie all the way down. And add an ab curl here. Ask yourself if you can go a teensy bit slower. What I always see in my classes is everybody speeding through things. There's no need to go fast. This isn't a race. And I would actually rather you do less reps with more control and more connection. All right, you should be feeling this burn in your right obliques. We've got four. Three. Last one, reach up and hold. You touch the ball to your foot, hold there for four, three, two, and one. Relax, both elbows down. Give your knees a little windshield wipe side to side. We'll do side two. All right, so rock your weight over to your left elbow, ball in the right hand or weight or nothing. Left leg extends. Take a breath in, get long. Breath out, tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. See how this side feels, do a couple reps up on your elbow. If the shoulder or neck are bugging you, again, that other great option is to come all the way down. Add on an ab curl. Ask yourself, can you slow it down? The answer is usually yes. <laughs> Even for me, who's done this a million times, and I'm such a stickler for slow, controlled movement in my classes, I'll get into class and someone else is teaching, and your brain just wanders. It like does this thing where you have moments of clarity on your mat, you're like thinking about a work problem you couldn't solve, and now you have all the answers. I, I do love those moments. But do your best to try to stay present in your time on your mat. Really just focus on your breath, what's happening with your body. Enjoy the music. This is your last three. Two. We're gonna lift and hold. Lift up, tap your ball to your leg. Hold there for four, three, two, and one. Let it all go. Windshield with your knees. So good. Okay. 
one last thing with our ball in this little core series. So if you came all the way down, just sit up for a second. You're on your elbows, also sit up. And then the ball is going to come in between your shoulder blades, nice and high, and then just come back down onto it. But once you're here, hands come behind the head, really support the weight of your head. It was kind of having to do its own thing for a while. So rest your head in your hands, elbows nice and wide. We're going to take an inhale, look up towards the ceiling, round over that ball. Exhale, curl up, look towards your knees. Inhale, look to the ceiling. Exhale, curl. All right, you can go like this. If you don't have the ball, you're lying flat on your back and you were doing your regular ab curls. Probably something we've done since like grade school gym class, you always have to do crunches. But I want you to think of these as your Pilates ab curl. They are so much more intentional. They are so much slower. And they're connected to your breath. Inhale as you look up. Exhale as you lift. For two more. That fire in your belly should be pretty spicy by now. The next time you ab curl, hold. Pause right here. Okay, we're gonna bring those twists back into the mix. So starting with that left arm again, right leg, lift. You're gonna tap across. This time, can you bring your hand to the outside of the knee? Yeah, and then as you reach, reach everything on a diagonal. So di big diagonal reach, find the corners of your room, and then cross. Oh yeah, I feel that a lot. Inhale, extend, exhale, twist. If you need the support of both hands behind the head, keep them there. You can just twist the elbow. And if you don't like having your legs straight, bend it, you can toe tap wide. I always wanna give you as many options as possible to make things feel good in your body. But what I love about in-person classes is that someone could come up to me and be like, hey, none of those options work because X, Y, Z, I have this injury or this issue. And then we can talk it through and find an option for them. So because you're at home and we can't chit chat live during class, please let me know in the comments if you are experiencing any specific pain that happens in a certain exercise. And I will do my best to give you a different option to work through that. Ooh, okay, two more. Last one, we're just gonna switch. No hold. So come back through center. If you need a breather, look up to the ceiling. Woo. And then come right back into your curl. You're gonna lift that left leg to the ceiling, right arm to the ceiling. You're gonna cross right arm to the outside of left knee, rotate the spine, and then reach everything to your diagonal. Keep going like that. Then remember your options. Leg can bend, hand can come behind the head. You can definitely ditch the ab curl if you just want to focus on the leg. Whatever option you take on this side, use your breath. Inhale to open up. Exhale to twist. How you doing? We've been doing abs for a really long time, <laughs> but this is the end, I promise. And the end is when it's so tempting to take a break, check your phone, watch a TikTok video, read a work message. Please don't do any of those things because this ab burn is so much more important and should be so much more enjoyable. <sighs> Give me four more and then we'll take a break. Almost there too. Last one. So good. Drop your head back. Extend all your limbs. Take a breather. Amazing work. Carefully sit yourself all the way up. You're going to grab your band. We're going to come all the way to standing and put the band on your leg. So take a second. It can go either in the middle of your shins or above the knees, wherever it feels the most comfortable and make sure it's nice and flat. We're just going to stand up nice and tall. Come back to those sumo squats. Bring that burn we just built in your core to your lower body. Let's find a nice squat. Stand tall. Okay, use these first few to kind of just adjust. Get yourself in a really sturdy stance because we're going to do some one-legged stuff. So I want your feet to feel really connected to the floor. Good, left, three. We'll hold, two. Hold to the bottom on one. Good, shift your weight over to your left. 
So all my weight's in my left foot. I'm gonna pop my right heel up and then straighten my right leg out to the side. Good, find your balance here. It'll be totally different. Bring hands behind back. The favorite thing to do, keep your shoulders out of your ears. You're gonna lift this left right leg up and then drop it back down. Up and down. We're not doing too many reps, okay? You just have six. Five. All the work is pretty much in your left bum, the supporting leg. Three. Two. And one. Tap the toes down and then tuck your toes so you have a little bit more of a base. And then drop your hips down an inch and up an inch, but all your weight's still in this left side. All right, keep going here. Just gonna turn to the side. Really push your thighs out in that band. This is your last three. Two. Hold at the bottom on one. All right, we're gonna repeat that sequence two more times, but this time on a diagonal behind you. So reach your right toes to the back corner of your room. Really try to find that diagonal angle. Just your big toe is touching the floor. Oh, my foot cramped. You're gonna lift your leg up and drop. Up and drop. Really control here. We did all that core work first for a reason, so this balancing sequence would be a little easier. Really try to keep that contraction through your center. It'll help with balance. This is two. This is one, tuck your toes, plant your foot down, come a little lower, drop your bum down an inch, and up, down, and up, yes. You really push down into your left heel. Like you're gonna make a hole in your floor. This is four, three, two, try not to stand up in between, stay nice and low. Pop your right foot directly behind you now, create a really straight line. Just the big toe touches the mat, and then find your eight lifts. Lift and drop. You've got this. I know that fire in your left butt cheek is getting really hot. That's good. Breathe through that burn for just four. Maybe you can even deepen the bend. Three, two, last one. So good. Tuck the toes right behind you. Drop the knee. Get really, really low. Lift up an inch and drop. We're gonna hold after this, but that's, this is pretty much the end of the sequence. So try to stay with me, because you're strong and you can. This is four, three, two. Hold the bottom on one, pause right here. Reach your arms forward, sink a little bit lower. Maybe lift the left heel up. It's been glued to the mat for so long. Find that lift, hold for four, three, two. One, stand tall, shake it out, so good. Okay, we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. You don't really have to move where you are. I'm just gonna face the other way. Do a few squats to just kind of flush out the legs. <sighs> yeah, that left butt cheek might feel pretty tight now. We'll balance that out in the right in three, two, and one. All right, find your squat, hold right there. Shift all your weight over towards the right. Send your left leg straight beside you. Just the big toe touches the mat. Shift your balance. Eight little lifts. Side two will be harder, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that left leg is tired. So pushing up on the band might feel like a little bit more work, but I promise that burn will build in your right butt. Three. Two. Last one, tuck the toes, get really low. Stick your bum back. Little lift, little lower. Notice if the band is starting to win, push your thighs out into it, feel that work. Come a little bit more into the side of your right seat. So good, last four. Three, two. Again, try to stay low in between here. So stay nice and low, top your toes on that diagonal behind you. Really, really find that long line. Just the big toe touches the floor. Lift it up, drop it down. Yeah, stay really, really connected through your center. Can you bend your right leg a little bit more? Yes, just a little bit. This is three, two, last one, tap the toes down, get really, really low. Lift up an inch, drop down, push out into the band. You got six. Four, you're doing so good. Three, two, 
And one, again, stay low through your transition. Left toes come straight behind you. This is your last set. Lift straight behind and then tap back down. Straight lift and drop. This right leg is working so hard to keep you balanced. Can you give it a little assistance? Really push into the heel. Actively think about squeezing your bum. And you just have two. And one, so good. Tap the back toes, get really, really low. Lift up an inch and drop. Up and drop for six. And then we hold. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Hold nice and low. Reach your arms forward. Sink a little bit lower. Maybe lift that front heel up. Hold still. Squeeze everything to center for four, three, two, one. Stand tall. So good. Take that band off. Have a sip of water. Okay, friends, we have one more sequence. We're gonna do some more lower body, some more core. I want you to grab your ball again and then set up your weights so they're on either side of your mat where your head is gonna go when we lie down. But we'll stay standing for a little bit. The ball's gonna come in between your inner thighs, come to the top of your mat. Give it a nice big squeeze, so it's right there. And then stick your bum back into a little chair. I think you're literally trying to sit on a bench. Hold right here, really squeeze everything in. Good, we're gonna find that little lift again. Inch up, inch down inch up, inch down. All right, so the backs of the legs are really warm from the last sequence we did. I really want you to find that inner thigh squeeze here. So what I see a lot is people's feet are super wide apart. The ball's not very big. If you make two fists, they just fit nicely in between your feet. That's a good sort of hip distance anchor point. Keep going. As you squeeze the ball in, can you think about pulling your low belly to spine? Really connect to lower abs. Good, just for three, two, hold the bottom on one. Little squeezes in, pulse that ball like you're gonna pop it, yeah. If this feels easy, I want you to peel the heels up, test your balance. You can see those little shakes in my ankles. If it's happening to you too, that's a good sign. Just be mindful that your ankles don't pop out to the side. Really try to keep even pressure between big toe side and pinky toe side. Heels pointing right behind you, not out to the sides. The hugs with friends and all right, just eight. And people that we loved, all these things that you've got four, for three, two, one. I want you to grab that ball from in between your thighs, reach it overhead. You're slowly gonna lower onto your bum, but really try to take your time. You can keep the heels lifted. It'll probably be a bit easier to come low. And then bum really, really gently. Touches the mat. Day by day. <laughs> that wasn't so gentle. Lift your feet up on your teaser or your boat pose. Squeeze the ball in. Beautiful. We're gonna move from your high boat to your low boat or your teaser and Pilates. So take an inhale to come down. Marvelous. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Exhale to come up. All right, keep going like that. Some arm add ons if you want at the bottom, arms are low. At the top, arms are high like we did earlier. Ooh, which throws off your balance completely. Or what I did in class the other day in real life was fall on your shins, fun little balance challenge. Try to keep it there. Woo! It's okay if it falls off. Keep going, two more. Last one. We're gonna come all the way down. Come nice and low, grab the ball. Come on your back. So good, okay. Plant your feet, windshield lift the knees. Well, once you're here, you're gonna pop the bum up, bring the ball underneath it. So right underneath the heaviest part of your hips, make sure it's comfortable. Here's where you can grab your weights if you'd like them, hands on top of your chest. All right, walk your feet pretty far away from your bum and then try to just bring the toes down, the heels are lifted. We're just gonna lift one knee to tabletop, tap it back down and then lift the other. This is your home base. You can stay here this whole sequence. You can come back if the other layers start not feeling so great. You could also just ditch the ball completely and come all the way onto your back. If you want your next layer, you're gonna bring both knees to tabletop. Make sure your hips are really balanced on that ball. And then we're gonna do right toes tap. Pull it back in and left toes tap. See how that feels if you're feeling balanced and you want a bit more. We're doing opposite arm to leg, so left arm reaches overhead as the right toes tap, and then everything comes back to center. 
what comes next. Keep going like that. Will be Ask yourself marvelous. if you're speeding up. You can always find the four count in the music. So go four, three, two, tap, come in, four, three, two, one, switch sides, four, three, two, one, come back, four, three, two, one, keep that pace, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Are you feeling it more now that we're moving slow? The answer is hopefully yes. Really try to link your breath to that pace. Inhale for four, two, one, exhale four, three, two, one. Keep going. This is your last three. Two, three reps takes a really long time when you're doing four counts. But it sounds better than me saying 30 seconds. <laughs> this is your last one. And then come back through center. Good, pause here. Turn your palms to face each other. We're gonna do a little tiny open to the side, but it'll throw up your balance a lot on the ball, okay? So everything stays except for your right knee. It opens to the side a bit. And then it comes back through center. And then your left knee opens. And then it comes back through center. All right, keep going like that. I'm just gonna pivot a bit so you can see what my legs are doing. But you keep moving if you're good. All right, so one knee's gonna open to the side and honestly, that's the only thing that's moving. And then you're gonna switch. The ball makes this <laughs> so much harder. But you really wanna find your obliques when the weight of your leg goes to the side. If it feels awkward to do that with your legs bent, do it with the legs straight. And then your option for your arms, you're gonna do opposite arm to leg, doing a chest press. So as my right leg opens, my left arm opens, everything comes back through center. And then you switch. If you are wobbling around on the ball, that's okay, I am too. Just do your best to stabilize through center. And reduce those wobbles as much as possible. Remember to breathe, we're almost there. We're not on this one for as long, you got four. Three. Last one, come back through center. We're gonna find a hold here. I want you to keep your palms facing your legs and just start reaching everything away from center. Hold whenever you can, squeeze there. Inner thighs connect, toes point, ribs pull in for four, three, two, and one, release. Good, okay, pop your bum off that ball. Ooh. Give your knees a little hug. Awesome. A few rocks up and down your spine. We're gonna finish seated with a little bit of arms and then you're done for today. All right, so come up to a comfortable seat. I'm just gonna sit cross-legged. You can sit however you'd like. Grab your weight. Start by just growing tall through the spine and dropping your shoulders out of your ears. Good, and then pull your elbows into your sides. We'll start with a serve the platter. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Inhale, pull them back. Really try to move with control, especially with these light weights. If you've ever done this on a reformer, I want you to imagine that resistance. Like you've got those pulleys. Yes, beautiful. It's feeling easy. Move slower. Just four. Three. Two. Last one, reach forward, hold. Keep your arms this height. Right arm opens to the side. Comes back. Do one shoulder tap. Switch, left arm open. Returns, one shoulder tap. Keep going like that. Good. Keep a nice soft bend in your elbows as you open wide. Yeah, so they're never locked. This is your last time to the left. Come back through center, bend both elbows just halfway, little tiny pulses for eight. Good, four, three, 
do one hold. All right, we're gonna keep moving one arm at a time. Right arm opens, overhead press, bend, and then return in front of your face, switch sides, left arm opens, press, bend, and return, keep going. Find that long spine, long neck again. Really, really try to use your breath here. I know those might start to feel heavy. Your shoulders are burning out. We're only doing one more each side. See if you can stay with me. Right arm opens and presses, bend and return. Left side opens, presses, bend and return. Release, take a little break. Good. Give your shoulders a roll. All right, we're gonna come up onto your shins a little bit higher. Stick your bum back. So you've got this nice 45 degree angle. Arms hug a tree in front of you. You're gonna find a reverse fly, arms open wide, and then return back down. Nice and slow. Especially if you're used to doing this with heavier weights in a more strength training style of class, when you really fly to get those weights up, do the opposite here. Super, super slow. Four, three. Really squeezing your shoulder blades together. Two. Last one, hold it wide. You're gonna sweep your arms back. Imagine your pinkies can touch behind you and then back wide. Just for four. Three. Two. Last one, reach it back, hold. Turn your palms to face each other. Little tiny tricep taps to finish. This is your last push of today's class, my friends. You did it so good. I want you to bring as much energy as you can to these little taps. Can you lengthen your spine a bit more? Get stronger through your core. Yes. Keep going for eight, seven, six, and then we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. Release those weights. Come up tall. Shake out your shoulders. Do whatever. Wiggle it out. Awesome. Let's meet in a tabletop. Come on to hands and knees. We'll do a really quick release. Find your cat cow. Drop your belly. Look up. Breath in. Breath out around your spine. Keep going like that. Two more. Really good. One more. Awesome. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Find a down dog. Pedal out the heels to stretch the backs of the legs. And walk your feet in towards your hands. We'll roll up to stand. Good. Find a standing figure four so you can hold onto the wall if you need some support. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Stick your bum back. Give your hip a nice stretch after that banded work. One breath here. Good. Stand tall. Lift that knee to a march and just do a few circles with the hip. Good. Release any last bits of tension. And then switch sides. Left ankle crosses. Bum comes back. Take a breath. Good, draw those circles with your knee. Awesome, stand tall. Let's take our last breath together. Inhale, reach up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, hands through heart center. Take a moment to thank your body for everything it just did. It is amazing what you can do when you carve out some time in your day for yourself. And thank you for choosing to spend that time with me. Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed today's class, and I will see you next time.